Hello, everyone. Today we are going to show how we can upgrade the TI Portal software. As we know, the current mainstream TI Portal software, that is a uh, version 14, 15, 15.1, and uh, version 16. Other than this uh, main version, we also have an update and uh, service pack version. For example, for the version 15.1, the latest update that is uh, update 4. And another reason we have to upgrade your TI Portal software, that is because our hardware catalog. Let's take a S7-1200 safety controller as an example. Uh, if we try to add a new device, and we go to S7-1200, and for the safety 1200 controller, for example, 1214, FC, DC, DC relay, that is a 1HI40. So in my system, for TI Portal version 50.1, update 3, the highest version this software can config, that is a version 4.2 for this controller. However, the latest controller, that is a version 4.3, or the latest one, that is a version 4.4. That turned to the topic how we can upgrade our TI Portal software. Basically, we would have uh, two ways. The first way, that is a more easier way, that is uh, if we go to our Windows system and find out Siemens Automation, this folder, go to find out Totally Integrated Automation Updater. So I highly recommend you right click and uh, select the pin to start. So like this way. So let's open this. Okay, so that is uh, the integrated updater. So this software can automatically find out based on your existing installed software and find out the latest update or service pack for your system. And before you try to download, make sure my downloads. So firstly, we need to check out this directory and uh, this folder uh, under this disk. Uh, we have uh, enough room to store all the files we download. And other than this, like this, sometimes it will show uh, we cannot connect the server. So if it show up like this, firstly, you need to check out if your current system can connect to the internet. That is the first. And second, from my personal experience, you go to the options. And here, double check uh, your download folder. Uh, you toggle this. So because sometimes maybe the installation issue or maybe some reason, so this internal update server stored in the software may be screw up or maybe override by some reason. So we better toggle this one time and let the system refresh uh, the update server address it is stored inside and click the OK. After this, you'd better restart your system and let the system refresh this uh, server address internally and keep in mind use a good quality wi-fi signal uh, rather than the weak signal after we hit the search and then this software will automatically search the software uh, that process may take uh, 10 to 15 minutes and let the software automatically find everything you need it will list all the service pack software and hardware package so you can hit this uh, download one by one. Once the download finish, so we can hit this install. The software will ask you to assign one directory for the extract file. So you need to assign one folder and uh, extract that uh, installation files. And after that, all the installation procedure can be automatically processed. So that is the software. If we shift to the support package, you can select all and this is the hardware support package. That is a small files, you can see the size. And we can hit all and uh, download all. And after this download, the system can automatically help you to install all these uh, sub files. It has a loss. And uh, once we update our TA portal software, and uh, you can hit this uh, help, check the installed uh, software. For example, for this software, 
it was a uh, 15.1 update 3 so currently it is a uh, version 15.1 update 4 after the installation and uh, if we go to add a new device and after the update 4 plus the new HSP hardware catalog so this time if we go to the Symmetic i7-1200 this catalog and uh, if we select the same device so this time you will find this software can configure version 4.3 so here comes up one question if you have a one hardware that hardware you know that version for example 4.2 version you want to know which versions of a CIA portal software can configure this uh, hardware right so how we can know this we need to go back to this uh, support industry.siemens.com and uh, from here let's find out this that is a compatibility tool hit this tool and from here let's go to English or German language so we can hit this start tool so let's find out the fail safe CPUs i7-1200 uh, so from this job list we can find out the word uh, we try to search for example uh, this 1HI40 version 4.2 let's find out which versions of uh, TI portal software can config this uh, hardware so let's select this uh, step 7 professional TI portal and uh, we are going to search we can select this uh, any product of versions and uh, the bottom corner let's show compatibility and from here we can see the compatibility relationship between the software and the hardware that's it's just an example another thing I want to show that is uh, the firmware let's search from here i7 free i7 1214 fc we can find this 1214 fc dc dc relay that is uh, the hardware we just shown so here we can download the latest firmware let's hit so i would like to mention one thing that is uh, here it shows when updating the firmware always update to the latest version available for the product and its uh, respective article number the previous version of the firmware are only intended as a backup to allow a downgrade to a original version so keep in mind this word that means if you purchase one hardware and when you get this hardware you find oh this hardware has a version 4.3 but as we search uh, for example in your hand you just have a TI portal version 15 or version 14 that these two versions can config this version 4.2 but uh, your actual hardware it has a higher version 4.3 so with this uh, description someone maybe think oh I can download this uh, firmware file and let's burn this latest hardware to a lower firmware version actually it cannot because with this word so if you purchase a one lower version hardware and you upgrade this hardware version to a higher firmware and maybe one day you think oh uh, actually I do not need uh, that higher version firmware I need to downgrade so if originally this hardware has a lower firmware version this so you can downgrade to its original version but if you purchase a brand new hardware that brand new hardware already have this higher version you cannot downgrade to a lower firmware so with this situation because your current software cannot configure this higher version 
hardware. So you have to upgrade your TI portal and upgrade the HSP hardware catalog. So here I would like to show this relationship and uh, how we can download the firmware because sometimes you need to upgrade your firmware. After all, the latest firmware usually can provide more features. The second method, in case your system cannot connect the server, you cannot fix that. Or by some reason, you worked on site, so on site there's no way to connect the internet. So the second way, we directly search the update we need to download. So let's go to the support.industry.siemens.com. Currently, my TA portal version 15.1, that has a update 3, but the latest update, that is update 4. So let's search, for example, TIA portal version 15.1 update we can sort all the download items and from here we can see the updates for TI portal 15.1 if we click the in and from this uh, description the latest update that is the uh, update 4 and my current version that is uh, update 3 so we can download this update 4, download the latest one, and install this update 4. Sometimes the service pack and update is not enough. So, you know, um, the Siemens hardware release very frequently and very fast. Most of the time, the software cannot catch a step of the hardware release. So other than the update and the service pack, we also need to download HSB, hardware service pack. So that usually it called HSP. So we can direct search this uh, HSP. So it will show support packages for the hardware catalog in the TI portal. So you can open it and download the hardware catalog. This hardware catalog, that means, so sometimes you cannot find the hardware in this drop list. So that service pack is especially for this. Or sometimes you already assigned one station for one project. So on the right side, this is our hardware catalog here. Other than the CPU, if we need to configure some modules, because the modules maybe Siemens just released one hardware module, but your software is still a little bit old, maybe a half a year ago. So Siemens sometimes will release the one hardware service pack that is not too big. You can download this service pack and especially install that. For example, if I try to upgrade the HSB for TI Portal version 15 or 15.1, so we can find out this link and this service pack. So I download this HSP zip file. And after I download and zip this file, so you will find out there are a lot of uh, sub-files in this folder. Each file represents one latest uh, firmware or latest uh, hardware. Uh, each file is very small. They are going to update the catalog in your right list here. And next question is uh, how we can upgrade. Because this file, if you double-click, they cannot directly uh, execute. So. Uh, we need to go to TI portal and uh, go to options, select this uh, support packages, and then find out this, add from file system. Or if you already connect the internet, you can select this, and uh, then it will automatically find out this uh, web page. It's really smart. Because we are introducing the second way, so that is the offline way. Uh, we can use other ways to download this file and manually install this uh, HSP files. So we will select this, add from the system. Browse to the folder that files locate. So you can select all of them, select the open. And then let the system load the files. We will find some descriptions here 
and the versions and those uh, those checkbox are highlight that allows you to select. And once you select, you can hit the install. Your catalog will be updated by this uh, latest HSSB files. So that is it for today. So basically, we would have uh, two ways. One way is uh, we go online, use this uh, updater to download everything. That's the uh, easiest way. Another way is uh, we go to the Siemens industry.siemens.com and download uh, the update service pack and uh, HSP hardware catalog file and uh, manually install that. And uh, keep in mind for the HSP, if you try to use manually download the HSP and you need to go to the options support the service pack and uh, use this add from the system, manually load all the files and uh, hit the install. That is for today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.